Hello, you guys. It is the next day. I am going to pick the kids up from school and then I have to go back to work one of those days. But I am currently on our like 40, 46, I think, or 44 of my 60 hour reboot. And I feel incredible. I have super, super good, clean energy. I am really excited to go work out tonight, which is rare because I've kind of gotten out of that, but I'm excited. We're gonna bow, bow burn. We're gonna go burn some calories. Um, and then I am meal prepping and planning what I'm gonna make. I'm off tomorrow, so I will have to share with you guys a little mini keto grocery haul. So stay tuned. We got lots of fun things coming, guys morning everyone it is the next day i um failed and i forgot to vlog last night got home at like nine o'clock from work it was a busy night i had a lot of stuff i had to get done so i figured i would just catch up with you guys today today is wednesday so it's my day off um i have a walmart grocery order to pick up in the next 10 minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and pick that up and then i have to run to dollar tree for just a couple of things it is caleb's birthday he is 14, you guys, my my kid is 14 years old. Anyways, he's super excited. I mean, this is like, a, I feel like a big age as like growing up, getting out of that 13 stage and becoming 14. So we're going to Buffalo Wild Wings for supper. So maybe we'll catch you on the vlog there too. Um, but anyways, I gotta go get a couple things, a bag from Dollar Tree because who spent money on bags? not worth it and pick up my grocery order and meet with my friend Maddie. So we will catch up with you guys in a few. There is nothing more that I love than pulling up to these little orange canopies over here. It is my favorite day of the week. Grocery week. Grocery home and living. <laughs> you guys, if you have never tried Walmart grocery pickup, do it. One, I add stuff into my cart throughout the week or like if I realize, so we ran out of black pepper. Okay, well, I'm not gonna make a whole trip for pepper, right? I know I'm getting groceries every Wednesday. So I just added it to my cart on my Walmart order and I don't forget it because I add it the moment I think of it. It's all on my phone. It's super, super easy. I sound like I'm sponsored by them. I am not, but I should be. Hey, Walmart, what's up? <laughs> Anyways. Um, if you guys have the opportunity to do it, do it. It is so freaking nice. The other thing is too, is if you are trying to keep a like conscious budget in your mind, um, you're able to do that a lot more on this app because you can take things off and add things or, um, get the smaller size, whatever you need to do to make sure that you're within your, your monthly grocery budget. Um, it's nice to do. I have right now about a $600 order inside my cart just because there's so many things that I want to get that I need to get. Um, I obviously do not have the extra $600 to put through that order right now, but I'm going to go through and figure out, you know, like when I do my next groceries, like what I want from that order, because I am going more strict keto when I'm eating and I'm eating more, more whole foods instead of so much junk. Um, and so that'll be nice. And that's a more expensive haul because at that point you have to remember you are eating healthier for some reason in this world we live in. Your food is more expensive when it's healthier. So, uh, you can buy a whole bag of Tostino's pizza rolls for like seven or eight bucks, but you want to buy like a whole bag of lettuce. It's like three fifty. like stupid. And that's why we live in a world where everyone is so stuck on carbs and sugar because it's cheaper to eat carbs and sugar but really it's not you just have to change your ways and just cut out some things that's how i how i manage to do it every single month on keto um anyways well i'm drinking my harvest sunrise you guys this is by far my favorite flavor i think i've probably said this before on here but by far my favorite flavor it tastes like orange icy it's so good so good. Okay. Well, my Walmart order is coming out. You see them over there? They just wheel it out, bring it over to my car, push my little button. They put it in. We're good to go. I'll see you guys when I get home. Can you guess where we're at? Hugo's yet again. What do you guys think I'm coming in to get? Ranch. And 
I don't know, something for Caleb's birthday. I don't know if I want to do cupcakes or what. We'll, we'll see. Now we're uh, going down this juice aisle because I feel like we're always down here. We got cupcakes, cookies, and ranch. We should be set. Plus I have my whole car full of groceries and I went to Dollar Tree, so we'll show you it all when we get home. Seriously love being able to just go to Hugo's and pick up my ranch, you guys. It's, it's an obsession. Like I am about to end my fast and I was gonna end it with eggs and sausage. And I think that I'm, I might just make a buffalo chicken salad cause that sounds fire. Also, it looks like I'm bald because my sun is shining on my hair. Anyways, I, uh, 60 hours, you guys, 60 freaking hours. Actually, I don't even know what the exact time is. When I uh, can pull it up on my phone, I will let you know. Right now we're sitting at 11.18 and I started 8 p.m. on Sunday night and it's Wednesday at 11.18 a.m. Isn't that crazy? Isn't it freaking crazy? So I bought cupcakes because I told Mason yesterday that we were having cupcakes for May or for Caleb's birthday party. Um, AKA we're just going to Buffalo Wild Wings because he's 14 and doesn't need a birthday party. But I am, um, I have to wrap up his gift. And so I bought cupcakes for them to have when we get home, when they open their, or when they, when he opens his gift. And then they had some little Funfetti birthday cake cookies. They're like minis. So I figured I would get those, but I couldn't just get those because I already promised Mason he was getting a cupcake. Mom life. Alrighty, I am pulling into the house. I will see you guys inside. I'm gonna grab my tripod and I will film a little haul. Come with me. All right me. guys, oh, I have my ring light. Can you see it in my glasses? I have my ring light in front of me cause I am going to do a haul here, but I just wanted to show you guys the before. Bella, 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 can you say hi to our friends? Anyways, this is what we have going on right over here and over here. So let's unbox it, unbag it. All right, you guys. So welcome to my kitchen. I got uh, three different stores here. Walmart, Dollar Tree, I was gonna say Dollar Spot, Dollar Tree and um, Hugo's, just a couple of things from those other two places, so that's what I'm trying to say. So all of this stuff is mostly my kids stuff. There is quite a few things for Zach and I in here as well, um, but a lot of stuff just because our kids haven't had any snacks. We've been on a, like a really budget friendly grocery shopping journey uh, where we just haven't been spending a whole lot of money on groceries. Obviously they're well fed every single day, but it's been more easy. Um, more we're cooking everything we don't eat out remember this you guys we have zero dollars in eating out um the only time we out, eat out is birthdays and like special occasions which they only we have five of us they come five times a year uh, very rarely do we just stop into mcdonald's and grab happy meals or a quick meal or a pizza very very rare do we do that a lot of it is cooking and so i buy stuff that's simple and easy for us to cook um, if you guys do not like this and you don't feed your kids this, totally fine with me. We all have our own opinions. Um, obviously I eat slightly different than everyone else in my family. I eat more, more whole foods, more greens, more veggies, um, but I still give them things that they like. Uh, I was a kid, they are kids, understand that. I don't know why I need to explain it all, but just felt like sharing. So... Let's get started. I have a case of waters down here. I'm not gonna lift up because it's a 40 pack and I went to the gym and my abs are killing me. Yeah, these abs. <sighs> um, I have a jug of distilled water. This is for Zach. He keeps it up next to um, our bed because he has sleep apnea. Um, so he uses this for his machine. It has to be distilled. Um, we got a couple things of noodles. I got fettuccine noodles because tomorrow for supper, I am making chicken Alfredo with homemade Alfredo sauce. And I'm going to make this with the kids and then just put it over broccoli for Zach and I. Rotini noodles. Those are really good. I make like, let's see if I can find it. This stuff. The kids love this. This ragu double cheddar. It's like mac and cheese 
from a box, but like not quite in a box. Um, so, and noodles, you guys, noodles all taste the same. So stop spending $1.70 on a package of noodles when you can pay like 97 cents, I think is what these are. And it's, it's a huge box. So I have rigatoni and rotini. Um, we have elbows and all the other, all the other noodles in there. I ran out of black pepper. And so I just added that to my cart when we ran out. So that is a replacement. Dallas was requesting pop tarts. Um, so I was going through the hole and holy shit, there's a lot of different brands of pop tarts out there that I have never even tried because like I haven't had a pop tart in many, many years. Um, and we don't buy, like I said, we don't buy this stuff too often in our house. So when I'm looking through it, I'm like, oh, what's he gonna like? There's like tons. So this one is frosted chocolate chip cookie dough. Bruh, that sounds delicious. Look at it, it just looks so good. And then um, Mason, my three-year-old, has been requesting Oreos. So this was a substitution for something that I paid 98 cents for and they gave me a full ass pack of Oreos. So I don't remember what it was a substitute for. Some type of little cookie or something. So they gave me peanut butter Oreos. I did not order those, but we'll take them. Um, these are the only fruit snacks that my three-year-old will eat. And so we just have them when we're on our way rushing out in the morning for daycare or we're traveling in the car to my parents' lake house whatever it may be these are just nice to have on hand um that i will tell you is probably my biggest weakness to have in my house because i used to eat a lot of fruit snacks that box of 50 would probably be gone in like a week with the old Alyssa. so progress um i got my mild shredded cheddar cheese i always have mozzarella cheddar and like Kobe Jack shredded cheese at all times in my household. Like I just, it needs to be here. Um, so I'm just replenishing this one today. Um, we have ballpark beef hot dogs for the kids. Um, sometimes I will cut that up and put it with that homemade, homemade mac and cheese. Um, or, you know, they don't know what to make. They want a snack. They can just make a hot dog with a bun. Um, sausage, because I want to end my fast today with sausage and eggs. So I'm super excited for this. This is, I'm not gonna take it out of the bag, garlic and herb season dry rub chicken. I made this the other day for the first time and oh my God, first off, it just smells incredible. So this is what I'm gonna use for our chicken for our Alfredo tomorrow. And then shredded Parmesan cheese. This is also for my Alfredo. Caleb has this crazy obsession with these waters. Um, he doesn't drink, so we have these juice things that we typically have. He doesn't usually drink them too often. Um, he drinks a lot of these, and I don't mind because these are 57 cents. This is a lot of water too, you know, at least to me, this is such a better option than pop. We do not have pop in our house. The only person in this entire household that maybe drinks pop is Zach, and he likes his Diet Coke. Um, but I don't even buy it. He drinks it when he's at work or if he's like out at a restaurant or something like that. But I'm a huge water drinker. All my kids are huge water drinkers. Um, my three-year-old is, I kind of have to force him to drink milk. I don't know. I'm not a milk drinker. So like I understand, but Dallas and Caleb are both obsessed with drinking milk too. So a lot of times at suppers, that's what they'll have. Um, if you guys didn't know, milk has a lot of sugar in it. So if you think you're being really, really healthy with your kids, you might want to check that out. <laughs> I don't want to bash anyone. Um, great value pizza sauce. This is what I use um, if I'm making like meatballs with ricotta cheese or my pizza cups or anything like that. This is my go-to because it is the lowest carb. Um, it is three net carbs for a fourth of a cup and a fourth of a cup doesn't sound like a lot, but girl, I'll tell you, it goes a long way. Um, jalapenos, diced jalapenos. These are when I make that chicken jalapeno stuff. I plan on making that next week. So I figured I needed to replace that. So I'm not running to Hugo's every single day. Um, Monterey Jack cheese and I get the block because I shred this up myself. Only I eat this one. So that's why I get it. Um, I shred it. This is freaking amazing on eggs. If you've never tried it, do it. 
Um, I'm not gonna go through all of these, but I have quite a few canned fruit. That's Mason's favorite thing to do is go to the bottom of the pantry and pick out a canned fruit for the day. Um, he likes these. My older boys, they tolerate them. They eat them because they are put on their plate. Um, but they're not their favorite. They would rather have like grapes and apples and oranges and stuff like that. And in my next haul, um, it's gonna it's gonna be a hefty big haul. So that's gonna be like a 30 minute haul, you guys. Anyways, um, that's where I plan on getting all that kind of stuff. This is just kind of restocking our pantry at a lower cost. Um, I think I spent 155 for all of this. Adding Hugo's and Dollar Spot, it was probably Dollar Tree. It was probably like 175. So $175 in this food's gonna last us a long time. We may just need to replenish like our meats or our cheeses, different things. So I got quite a few of those. Um, we got these vanilla cream wafers. Dallas likes to take these to school and have them like when they're waiting for supper, just a quick snack. Um, we Mason loves these Scooby-Doo graham cracker snacks. You get 12 packs of these and I think it's about four bucks. You guys, these work really well if you're in the car. We are in the car a lot as a family. Um, so it's just kind of nice to have heavy whipping cream. I always buy the big one. If you guys can find the Horizon brand, Bella's chewing on her bone back there. So if you hear that, I'm sorry. Uh, <clears throat> that's the best because this one has carrageen in it. And if you're doing keto, you want to try avoid that, those different chemicals and things. Sometimes this can react with your body differently. So if you're using this in a lot of different recipes, if you are following strict keto, try find the Horizon brand from Walmart. They're always out of it when I go there. So um, I should take a look at Target and maybe see if they have it there. But anyways, this is a good one. I use this when I make my Alfredo. I use this when I make my eggs. I use this when I make any type of sauce. This is kind of my thing. Um, on Friday, no, Saturday, we are doing mashed potatoes and hamburger gravy. That is one of the kids' favorite meals. Um, and I make, I used to use cream of mushroom soup in that hamburger, hamburger gravy. Now I use this cream cheese, onions, all the good stuff. That one's one of my favorites because I pour it over green beans. So good. And then I just pour it over mashed potatoes for the kids. Also with that, they will be having these flaky grands. These are only like 98 cents at Walmart, you guys. Craft Ranch, this is my favorite and the lowest carb ranch that I have found out there. It is two net carbs for two tablespoons. Um, I use this on anything that I'm dipping in ranch, anything that I am like making on a salad or stuff like that, I use this ranch and I'm really into salads right now. So I always have this in my house. Um, oh, it's so good. This is a ranch I got. I talk about to you guys all the time. It's just, it's so good. That was from Hugo's. Um, I got a can of cream of mushroom and that is for the kids like tuna hot dish. So I use that for that. American singles for their sandwiches. Bread for their sandwiches. I also made grilled cheese the other day with Velveeta cheese, which I haven't had Velveeta in our house in forever. And I was fasting, it was Monday, day one of my fast, and I'm like, oh my God, all I wanna do is take a bite of that. But I did. And so for Caleb, I was telling you guys I got cupcakes. So I got these cupcakes here, and these are mini birthday cake cookies. How freaking delicious do those look? I just thought they'd be a little something extra than just a plain boring cupcake. Um, thought we'd try it out. Um, I got a couple drink enhancers here and then my ranch. This is now the stuff that I got from the Dollar Tree. I still have more Walmart stuff over here. It's kind of all jumbled together. You guys, if you can get your hands on these at the dollar store, um, they're called, they're sure fresh. We use them all the time. We store like Cheez-Its in here or um, we have these cookies. Over, I'll show you in a minute. We have cookies over there that we typically put in here and it's just quick and easy. That way they're not getting left out and they're not getting stale because my kids have a problem with closing containers, which I'm sure all of you guys struggle as well. These are good and they're a buck from the Dollar Tree. So this is the big size. And then they also have the small size too. So you can kind of see these are nice for like, yeah, like I said, Cheez-Its, cookies, whatever you need to put in there. 
Uh, clearly, I'm, I'm on a health kick, huh? Not. I'm just kidding. Um, oh, I was showing Dollar Tree. I'm sorry. So with Mason, we are still trying to get the potty training thing down. Um, and I have a little bag that anytime he goes poop in the potty, he gets to pick out a little toy. Holy moly, you guys, I'm sorry. I'm already at like 12 minutes, 13 minutes of this long ass thing. Um, these are from the Dollar Tree. They're just little like toys that he can pick out once he goes poop. I have a little Elsa bag over there. Just kind of a little extra perk, little fun thing to get him to want to go. Um, this is a little magic towel. These are actually really cool. It's like a washcloth you throw in the bath and it expands. Um, and then a bouncy ball. So I will put those in his bag. And then he's obsessed with like squishy things. So I bought this little squishy and it's a banana. It's super cute. I want it. Um, so I'm going to throw that in his bag. And then just a little dinosaur. These are all a dollar from the dollar spot, you guys. These would be perfect if you have between like a one to four year old like Easter baskets. Hell yeah, do it this way. Do not go and spend tons of money. You don't need to because I promise your kids aren't gonna play with it that long. So I was okay spending $5, but that $5 is gonna make his life. Like he's excited for that. So then I was telling you guys that we do a lot of driving. Um, these are nice to, I just usually leave them in my car. They're like bags that you can get at a gas station. Normally this is like three bucks at a gas station. And I buy them from the dollar store and it's only a dollar. So we got some Chipotle peanuts. Um, I've never tried these. I think Zach will like them. That's why I got them for him to try. And then I got a happy birthday bag and some gift tissue for Caleb's birthday present. Um, I will, I'll have to show you guys. Maybe I'll record him opening it tonight. I love I love doing these vlogs, you guys, because like I get to go back and see like how different things are and I get to catch these memories. I just need to be more consistent with it and I will, I promise you guys, remember I'm new. So anyways, um, we got him new Nike shoes and a water bottle and a wallet, kind of simple, easy. So I figured instead of just giving him that stuff, I would give him, he's 14, he likes candy and treats. So I got a bunch of different boxes of candy and then some Nutter Butters from the Dollar Tree. I don't know if he'll like them and if he won't, I know Mason will. Um, so I just figured I'd throw this in, kind of fill up that more. They have like chips and stuff like that that you can throw in there too. He is obsessed with Takis. If they had Takis, if they had Takis, I would have put those in there. Bella is laying at my feet and she's like, what? Bruh, I'm here. Don't be dropping stuff on me. Um, these, this was a substitution. Um, I normally get the gain. What are they called? Dryer sheets. We're completely out of dryer sheets. And Caleb's been telling me for the last week, I need more dryer sheets. My clothes are staticky. So I went and I put them on my grocery order and they must have substituted this. I think I ordered a smaller one. So they substituted it with a bigger one at no cost. Um, it was just their brand. They smell good. I mean, I like gain better, but these will work. Can't be beggar. Beggars can't be choosers. Um, family Caesar kit. So Zach and I just eat the lettuce without like the dressing and the croutons and all that stuff. Um, I put Italian, what, Olive Garden. I just drew a blank. Olive Garden dressing on it because that's a lower carb and it goes a lot longer. Um, but I do get the Caesar salad kit because Caleb really likes salads and so like for him, he's able to use the Caesar dressing and the croutons and the Parmesan cheese and all the stuff that comes with it. It just works really well. And I like these. I like the lettuce that's in these. Um, oh my God. I'm so like, I'm, I'm getting hungry right now. And this is what I want to eat right now. But I know I'm about to make some eggs. So like, I'm not going to open them. But if you guys have the opportunity to try these, please try them. The hard salami is the best pepperoni is the second best you can buy them in a massive thing at walmart and it's got like i think it's like 10 of each of those flavors in a big container or you can buy it like this and this for me it would be a lunch so this would be a replacement for a lunch and then maybe i'll have a salad with it or something something like that something small uh, these are just nice to have i typically buy them at sam's club because they are cheaper this is like five bucks for this one little thing 
but it's either that or $14 at Jimmy John's for an unwitch. So I will choose this. Um, Sam's Club, I think it's like five bucks or six bucks for six, two packages. So um, I've said this before, Mason is obsessed with these little bites, the confetti ones. It's like an every morning thing that we need to have them. Dallas has been blowing me up about pizza rolls. I remember being a kid though, and I love pizza rolls, so I don't blame them. And sometimes it's just nice, you guys. I make make meals every single night when I'm home with my kids. But I work Tuesdays and Thursdays till like 7 o'clock. And then by the time I'm done, my hair is driving me nuts. By the time I'm done with the gym, it's like 8, 30, 9 o'clock. Well, I can't make supper for them at that time. Now, I could, uh, maybe I will. Maybe I'll start like pre-making some dinners so Zach can just throw them in the oven or in the microwave, whatever it may be. But it's nice. Do you guys hear that? It's nice to have like easy things for him to make because he's just not as good of a cook as I am. Babe, if you're watching this, I love you and I love your cooking skills. But for real. Um, so sometimes they just gonna have pizza rolls and mac and cheese and those easy things. Um, I make all the meals on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sundays. <laughs> Hot wings, buffalo style. Um, these are Three net carbs for three ounces. I throw these in the air fryer and they're freaking delicious. You guys, we're going to Buffalo Wild Wings for supper. <gasps> I'm so excited. Um, if you ever are getting wings, do not get barbecue sauce if you're eating keto because barbecue sauce has a lot of freaking sugar in it. Um, I looked at the honey barbecue sauce from Buffalo Wild Wings and it was like 36 grams of carbs for like three tablespoons. Tripping. That's about how many carbs I eat in like three days, four days, five days. I can't do math. So the Buffalo style, um, I typically get the plain, but they didn't have any good plain ones there. Sam's Club is the best place to get them. And then I put the Parmesan garlic from Buffalo Wild Wings. Uh, Parmesan garlic or Buffalo flavor is your best option to keep for keto. Um, I got these Arby's curly fries. They were on rollback, so they were like a dollar twelve, and I figured it would be a good thing to switch it up. Um, my kids have been eating like French fries as like a side for a lot of their meals lately. Um, I also for Sunday I thought, how fun would this be? Um, I used to eat this all the time growing up, monkey bread. Um, I just thought it'd be kind of a fun little thing. Have you know this going in the morning? Um, I don't typically do a lot of sweet stuff like that, just because. I don't eat it, they don't need to eat it either, but sometimes it's nice to treat them. Um, I got some strawberries. Can we just take a look at how massive? Oh my God, they smell so good. <laughs> I love the smell of strawberries. Um, anyways, I love strawberries. What I typically do is if I'm craving something sweet, instead of having like, I don't know, instead of continuing to eat, sometimes I just need something to curve my sweet tooth. I will just cut up like two or three strawberries and then put squeeze a little bit of whipped cream on top. Um, whipped cream has like one carb in it. And if you guys didn't know, the canned whipped cream is the best option. Um, this diced ham, I put this in my eggs. I also make a cheesy pasta, like a chicken cordon bleu pasta for the kids. And then I just do the chicken cordon bleu for me. I use this ham, I fry it up in the pan and then I throw it in there. Super good, it's like two carbs for two ounces. Um, the kids are obsessed with these mashed potatoes. This is a big one. They must have substituted it because I just ordered a small one. Uh, but they don't, the thing is, is if they upgrade, they don't charge you for it. So sure, I always put the small ones in because then they upgrade me. Who doesn't like free shit, am I right? Broccoli for Alfredo tomorrow night. I know we probably have two or three of these in the thing, but I just never want to run out because I don't ever want to feel like I don't have something to eat. Um, the boys loved this corn. I made it the other day and they said it tasted straight like corn off the cob. Mason on his mornings, like Saturdays and Sundays, he typically wants um, pancakes. He's also obsessed with Frozen right now. Everything is Elsa. I don't know what that's about or where that's coming from. We've watched Frozen like three times um, in the last week. So he has an Elsa Frozen bag that like his poop treats are in. That sounds so dumb. <laughs> poop treats. Um, but so I thought how fun, how cute to do Eggo waffles. 
with Elsa on them. I think that that's exciting. It's the little things in life, you guys, that your kids get excited about. It, to me, that's nothing. But like how exciting for a three-year-old to come down and have Elsa on his, on his waffles. Do it. Enjoy. Let your kid wear their Paw Patrol shirt that they like. Don't, you don't have to make them into you. They are little kids. Let them live their life as little kids. Cascade. <laughs> Caleb has been yelling at me for the last two days because we've been out, so he's been having to hand wash his dishes. He is my dishes boy, by the way. Caleb is and Dallas is trash, and they choose that themselves. Then this is massive. I don't think I ordered this one. Double stuffed Oreos. Hodge. I could eat some of these right now. Um, oh. Also, I don't think I ordered two of these. But this is sandwich cream cookies. Those are the things. Sorry, it's probably really loud on your guys' end. Those are what I throw in those little containers from the Dollar Tree. Um, just to kind of have a little snack. Uh, kind of like a reward. Good job you did your chores. Eat a cookie. <laughs> um, applesauce. Strawberry applesauce. Mason loves it. He was watching me while I was going through and swiping like what I wanted to put in my cart. He's like, mommy, I want, I want bears. So he just can't say no to it. So I got him some chocolate chip Teddy Grahams. The only Teddy Grahams I used to eat when I was younger were the cinnamon ones. Uh, we got some milk because we drink probably a gallon a week. Um, a giant thing of green beans because I am making that um, hamburger gravy and mashed potatoes. So Zach and I are going to split this. Well, okay, maybe not the whole can, but the kids are going to have some of these with theirs too. So I got those, um, and just two regular cut green beans over there. We got some corn dogs because again, on the days that I am not here, it is nice. Also like if the boys are home from school, they can throw one of those in the oven. They, they both know how to work the oven and the air fryer. They can cook those things. Um, I don't expect them to make gourmet meals when they're home by themselves. So, and then the other thing Mason requested was Cheez-Its and I ordered a box of six. It came with like six individual package. So they must have substituted this one. But anyways, holy moly, 25 minutes. <laughs> That's a long freaking haul, you guys. Uh, we'll get quicker with it. Maybe next time I won't go so in depth. I'll just show you everything and then we can talk about it later. But all right, I'm gonna get all this she put away and then I'm gonna start making my eggs so we'll catch up in a minute. All right, you guys, we changed it up a little bit. Instead of having eggs and sausage and ham, I made, it looks kind of weird, um, I made a roll up and it looks like a lot, but this is two ounces of turkey, a tablespoon of mayo, cheese, and an ounce of salami. And because I used to love putting like Doritos in my sandwiches, I have these. Quest nacho cheese chips. They're four carbs for the whole bag. And I absolutely love them because I put it like as I take a bite of my wrap, I take a bite of that. Mm, so good. It's delicious. You guys should. Guys, look at this. I'm hands free in my car. What is up? Uh well, that's cute. Sometimes I I you guys, what do you think? What do we think of my hair straight? Because I absolutely hate it. But Zach always says that he likes when my hair is straight. And I'm like, mm. I don't know. Well, I'm mixing up my second Harvest Sunrise for the day because I am that obsessed. I am currently waiting to pick Caleb up. Um, birthday boy up. I figured I'd pick him up first and then I'm going to go get Dallas. We are then going to get a learner's permit book for Caleb. You guys, I can't even explain. That like makes me want to cry. Like I am picking up a driver's ed book. For my 14 year old excuse me what when did this happen like I remember him going into seventh grade at the beginning of this this school year and I'm like um when did you grow up and now he's just like a full ass adult like I just words can't even explain anyways I'm sorry if you guys don't like my swearing too this is literally just how I am all the time I am super excited. Oh, it's a picture of Caleb. Um, I'm so excited though because my favorite time in my like teen life 
was when I was finally able to like start driving and start practicing driving. So we are going to, Zach and I are going to start working with him on driving. He's pretty comfortable with it. Um, but we're going to start doing more, more driving in the vehicle and, and things like that because in North Dakota, you can get your permit when you're 14 if you've gone to driver's ed, I think. Um, which is crazy because I had my license when I was 14. Like completely on my own, had my own car, driving to and from school every day at the age of 14. Like it's so crazy. Um, yeah, so by the way too, if you guys didn't know, Caleb is a year younger than most of the kids in his class. Wait, no, a year older, excuse me. Um, because he is 14 in seventh grade. A lot of kids in his class are just turning 13. So when he's going into high school, he's going to be 15. Um, actually, he's going to be, well, yeah, he will be 15. But, and then, so he'll be at the top end of his class, so he should be the smartest, right? That's what that means. Anyways, I um, will catch up with you guys when he gets in here, and we'll, uh, we'll wish him a happy birthday together. All right, guys. Birthday boy is coming. He's looking at me all crazy because my phone is up on my windshield, but... He's staring at me. He has to like climb on a snowbank to get in here. Hello! Oh, Happy birthday! Thank you. I'm vlogging your 14 year old time getting into the car. We are going to go get a thing for your permit oh, so that you can Take your permit test. So crazy. Dude, everyone that walks out of this school, I swear, looks like they're either six years old or 16 years old. There's no like in between. Doesn't he look like a kindergarten? Yeah. Ooh. Is he a middle schooler? What the hell is that? Lips? So, I got one this morning. Did your girlfriend give it to you? Okay, well, we are going to go get his permit test. Caleb, anything you want to say to the vlog? We did a whole grocery haul earlier, so you'll have to see that when you get home. I'm 14 now, and too it's cool. Good. Too cool for school. Yeah. Are you excited for Buffalo Wild Wings? Mm-hmm. And for your not present that you're not getting? All right, guys. We'll catch up with you when we grab the other kids. All right. It's official. Non-commercial driver's license manual. Then we gotta get you an ID so you can get a job. Uh -huh. That is his decision, by the way. He yeah. wants to work. But I think it is important to start being a part of society, right? Mm -hmm. Plus, you wanna start earning your own money and saving up. Mm -hmm. Your dad's already looking at getting you cars and all that she. All right, we are going to pick up Mr. Dallas. Naughty butt. Naughty butt. Caleb's eating a sour black cherry sucker. Show it to them. What a weird shape. <laughs> All right, we'll catch up with you guys in a few. Can you say hi? Hi. How was daycare? Good. Good? No hitting. No hitting? What else did you do today? No accidents. No accidents? And you did what in the potty? Poop in the toilet. Good job. Not pee. Good job. You'll have to pick out a, a snack when you get home. Or a little mommy put new stuff in your Elsa bag. I want toys. Okay, yep, because you pooped in the potty. Mommy yeah. put new stuff in your bag. She got she got more a, things in there. a big one and two small. Oh, and I got you some new what snacks, all of you. Me? Well, I mean, they're all snacks that you guys can eat. Can we get a toy then? Can we go to We're going to go home till Daddy gets off work, I and then... Yep, then we're going to go celebrate Caleb's birthday at B-Dubs when Daddy gets home from work. Well, cupcakes, not cake. 
We don't have cake. No, just oh, one. I have. Oh wait, I have cake. Yeah, I guess so. Only at your birthday party we had cake. Why? Well, because there's a lot more people eating birthday cake, and mommy and daddy don't like cake. Why? Well, I don't know. You did have a Lightning McQueen cake. Yeah. It's morning. What, co <laughs> what color is Lightning McQueen's car? Red. And? Mater. What color is Mater's car? Brown. Good job. Good job. All right. Can you say bye Mater's to the... Mater's not black though. No. Nope. brown. Can you say goodbye to the vlog? Bye, black. It's weird being on this side recording. I'm always on that side. All right, guys, we are on our way to Buffalo Wild Wings. Caleb, what are you going to get? Uh, uh, wings? Yeah. yeah, I think so. I think that they sell wings there. Hi. We have Caleb's birthday present. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Ah, it's turning with me. That's crazy. Also do that? Now it's turning with you. <laughs> Hi, babe. What do you want to say? I don't know. It's very distracting when I'm trying to drive here. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll catch up with you and meet up. Go ahead. Mason, brother's opening his present. Yeah. I'm just excited that he has to see it. I want to see it. Wait, I think I can do it. Yeah, they're just like nutter butter. I thought that was that. I thought he was short. Yeah, I thought these were toys. I thought you could put your stickers on there. Or did you use up all your stickers? Well, we'll have to get you some more and put on there. I think I still have like 80 left. I only have like 20. Well, maybe you can get a pill or something. Ooh, it's a new color. Ooh, it's a new color. You know, because pretty soon you're going to be putting a driver's license on some cash because you're about to be getting a job. Yep. Is that it? Be honest, what do you think of them? I'll get them more like Those yeah. look expensive. <laughs> they look expensive. $300. No. What are they, Nike Airs or something? Uh, yeah, I think it's Ma oh, Air Max. Air Max. You like those ones? I know you wanted Adidas, but we couldn't find any that like did look like girly Adidas. These are tiny too. And they're like totally yeah, picked up. Like yeah. Yeah, I think they look like Jordans, but they're Nike. So. Well, I'm glad you like them. We just ordered our food. Zach, Caleb, and I are doing unlimited bone-in wings. Dallas and Mason are doing mac and cheese and fries. How's your wings? <laughs> Good bite. Zach got blazing wings, you guys. And look at this. They're all gone. He ate all of them. Isn't that like a challenge to eat those? And he just eats them regularly? No, thank you. Anyways, I got Parmesan garlic and then they give you fries because it's unlimited wing Wednesday and you um, get unlimited wings. Exactly how it sounds. So I got Parmesan garlic and ranch and he got mild and medium. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Caleb. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. <laughs> He's too 
full, so he's not eating a cupcake. But you are you gonna try a cookie? I want to do a cookie too. Cupcake. You yeah, want to try a cookie, cookie first, Mason? Cupcake. Uh, I think I got it. Cupcake. Mason, you get cookie first. Okay. Um, you can have a cupcake if he doesn't want cookie. I don't know. Which kind do you want? You want vanilla or chocolate? Vanilla. Vanilla or chocolate? Chocolate. Chocolate? Okay, let's get it up. What's on top of those cakes? Um, stars. Yeah. You want, do you want a chocolate one, this one? Um, no, no. Chocolate cupcake? Yeah, or do you want a vanilla cupcake? Chocolate cupcake. Okay, go sit down. It's been a good day, right, Caleb? Mm -hmm. Dallas, what do you owe? So, we just got back from McDonald's. Er, McDonald's. <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings and saying happy birthday. Oh. Gave Caleb his present. He got brand new shoes. Oh, wait. Didn't you already record this? Of what yeah, he got? And he also. Caleb, where's your phone at? He got an iPhone 7 Plus. We didn't mention that. I mean, he well, totally you're not did not even have. You're vlogging your face. You're yeah. vlogging your chin. Lift your hand up. <laughs> okay. It's all about the angle. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here you go. All right, guys. We'll catch you tomorrow. We are going to chill and hang no, out. Flips. See y'all. See y'all. See y'all. <laughs>